All over the world, we've experienced huge losses in healthy habitat. In a situation that feels hopeless, restoration provides a solution. In 2009, the Nature Conservancy was awarded eight restoration projects through the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. Over the past two to three years, we have really taken these restorations to a very ecologically meaningful scale. In the Gulf of Mexico and Alabama and Louisiana, we're rebuilding oyster reef that's acting as living shoreline that's protecting eroding coastline. By pioneering these restoration efforts, coastal communities will be safer in the face of storms, sea level rise, fisheries will be more stable and productive, providing a livelihood for generations to come. We got a natural treasure right here in these waters. Without these oyster reefs, we're gonna lose the crabbing, we're gonna lose the fish, we're gonna lose the shrimping. So we just end up losing it all between the reefs eroding and the marshland eroding. In total, we built just over three acres of oyster reef. One year worth of work, you can already see the marsh growing back. You can already see you know, the oysters establishing themselves in the structures. To me, that is very impressive and it shows that this thing works. The restoration, the efforts that are being taken here, they do work. On the West Coast in Alaska, Washington and California, we are restoring habitat and fish passage for salmon. The idea is to create freshwater tidal marsh habitat, 60 acres of it. In the end, it's going to produce an additional 16,000 juvenile salmon. We can have environmental improvements and we can run agricultural enterprises at the same time. When the Nature Conservancy fenced the cattle out of the river, that was a blessing as far as I'm concerned. <clears throat> the land provides our living and we have to take care of that land. In Florida and the Caribbean, we're working on a coral recovery project. The coral reef restoration project is huge for us, the recreational scuba diving industry. We depend on having healthy reefs and all the sea creatures that go along with it to be able to show off to the tourists. To date, we have grown over 2,500 corals and have recently transplanted over 1,000 elkhorn and saghorn fragments onto reefs that need them. In Hawaii, we have worked on removing invasive algae from coral reefs. We're beginning to see the fish come back. The ocean is cleaner. My grandchildren are playing in the edge of the ocean and it's not that stinky water. Mahalo, mahalo nui. Over the past generations, we've experienced degradation. In the future generations, we're going to experience recovery. Like other infrastructure projects, building bridges, repairing roads. Investing in our natural infrastructure also provides jobs. This project has taken, so far, about 50,000 man hours to complete. So you're looking at 50 plus guys just on my end that have had employment for the last couple of years out of this job. It's a lot of dirt we've moved here, and I sure hope the fish like it. We know from the success of these projects that restoration works. It works, and we need to do more of it. We need to do more of it right now. So join us in Restoring America.